All right, Ian. Patty uh, Roo. Patty Roo. Patty Roo? Patty Roo. Okay, um, so this came to our attention recently. I guess this was announced a month or so back. Um, a disc-based disc -based emulation console was announced called the Mega Engine. It was announced in late 2020, December 31st, to play PC Engine CD games slash TurboGrafx and Mega CD slash Sega CD games. Um, it's being put out by PCE Works, which is a company that makes illegal Boot game leg. repros. Games. Bootlegs. Yeah. And has done so for years. Uh, for uh, years. Um, fuck them. Uh, about at PCE Works, we love NEC's PC Engine. Translation, we love fleecing people uh, with uh, fancy schmancy reprints of games we don't own the rights to do repros of uh, and then selling oh. them in, in, in fancy boxes. You like, you like the console because you're making money selling your, your, your bullshit repro games. You don't like the devs and publishers who you're stealing from. Right. But that's okay. But that's all right. Um, By the way, it's not like they're charging $5 for these. You go online, these are going for like, you know, th these are not cheap, these things. They're charging these like they're brand new games, uh, basically, that you get. So they have, they've done stuff like Rondo of Blood, Repro, uh, Sapphire, uh, games like that. They've done Bonk, I think, in the past. I saw Bonk, uh, Beyond Shadowgate Repro. And um, before we get into this actual console idea... Uh, it's harder to tell. The discs are usually marked separately, but on the outside, it's a little bit harder to tell sometimes that these are even repros. Yeah, you gotta they, have a keen eye. Mm. I'm not saying they're 100 percent accurate. But you got I've I've been on something before. My fault. It wasn't marked on. This was years ago. I got the Godzilla uh, Turbo Duo version. And I buy it, and, I, and it was like 350 dollars, which was like what it goes for 300 bucks. Then afterwards, I'm looking at it before it gets shipped. Me, I'm like. What the fuck is that? That's not that's not Godzilla. I didn't know they existed at this point in time. And so I said like to the person, listen, this isn't this isn't what I want. This isn't the real game. And he refunded me my money. Or else I would have made a stink about it. But that's the point, is like I had to take a second glance before I realized it. And I and I had won the fucking thing and didn't realize it. Here's what they have to say. Are the games in their FAQ? Are the games clearly marked as PCE Works items? To clearly distinguish all items from any 80s or 90s releases, all manuals and discs carry our logo. If you're ever in doubt about any item you see for sale on eBay or elsewhere, feel free to ask us for any details on noticeable differences. It shouldn't have to be that close. Yeah, it really shouldn't have to. It should be. to be where I, I you ask us for differences. What, what? So, so, so their, so their company. Uh, MO is bullshit. What are they based in Europe? That's why probably someone hasn't gotten past them. Yeah, uh, or hasn't gone after them. Uh, but now they're announcing this console. Let's try to think about this console. This oh, hold on, no, oh, real okay. quick. I just oh, want to real quick. Oh, okay. I just want to people to uh, oh. understand the level of shittiness going on here. Okay. For instance, uh, for an example, the PCE Memories box set Arcade Gems contains a copy of Strider, Mato Monogatari, Med Stalker, and Ginga Fuke Densetsu Sapphire. So four games in uh, a box with a poster and some stickers, 130 euros. That's about 160 US, something like that. Pat Myth, 150? Dead of Brain 1 and 2, 50 euros for a reprint. That they don't own the rights to. They don't own the rights to. Don't fucking support these people. You know what it costs if it's a CD <laughs> game to do a run of, of, of CDs in a, in a, in a case? It's under a dollar each, and I'm being very fucking generous if you do a decent amount. It's a dollar to make a CD with a case and full artwork. It's a dollar to do that. And they're charging they're charging what a company like Limited Run or Retrobit would charge for like a real re-release, where the money goes to the, the actual IP holders. It's horrifying. It's horrifying to me. And people can get tricked. All right, is that it? That's it. You want to talk about the, the console real quick? Sure. Go ahead, oh, I don't want this it. to be a PCE Works bash fest, but we, but we have to bring that up before we talk about this idea. Yeah. Because we just talked about the poly. I mean, I do want it to be that, but we 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 yeah we oh, okay we, yeah. <clears throat> there's there's a market for this. We, we talked about this. This yes. is why I thought the poly mega at three hundred dollars. There's a market for uh, disc based for CDs and and other like media, a console to play it, play the original media. 
on your TV or on your monitor uh, like this. They even show off a... Uh, the super air zonk in the background is it there is there shitty repro is that the real one i don't know i can't tell it's too far away but they're, they're showing you that play you know play these games on a console emulation based we don't know what they're using there's only there's what there's there's magic engine and there's another uh pc engine emulator out there. there's like one or two others there but there probably would be a market for this if it's decently priced if this is like a hundred dollars people would probably buy something like this I, I'm still kind of interested in what the market is, though. It, it does. It, it just it does two systems, which is interesting. It does the so that does the PC Engine CD stuff, and it does Sega CD, but it doesn't do the um, Hue cards. Sure. So it's so you could go ahead and get this, and like I think we were talking about yesterday, they'll probably end up being a way to load the ROMs for the Hue cards on there. But it's weird to me who wants to buy something and use ROMs for one thing, but wants to use the physical media for another. Sure. If this did more, if, if this was closer to what the Poly Mega was offering with their base unit, with Saturn, where it does like Saturn and Neo CD and stuff like that, then it makes more sense to me. Is Poly Mega the PlayStation? I forget. <clears throat> Then it, uh, I can't recall. I'll look it up. CD, that CD one that we were looking at that we talked about years ago was supposed to do PlayStation. I can't remember if Poly Mega No, just does PS1. It. Okay. I'm looking at, yeah, PS1, 32X CD, Neo Geo. So you're saying if it was similar to the Poly Mega offer with like five or six. Right, if it did multiple discs, but uh, it, it's just odd to me that this is doing the disc work for two systems, yet it doesn't offer the, the cartridge. And two that are unrelated, by the way. Yes, two that are unrelated, but and it doesn't it, offer the cartridge support. And one th that you're not currently making fucking money off by making your shitty repros. One so, you are, not the other one. Yeah. Well, as far as I know. So yeah, it's just it's odd to me. It seems hyper specific. Um you know, that my, my problems with the company aside, I, I don't know. I just don't know exactly what the market is. I guess we'll see. Yeah. All right. Well we'll we'll see if we get some angry backlash by calling out PC works. We never brought that up up, up up on the podcast ever. Never did that. How come on the on the website there's no it's not like a Shopify thing there's a fucking order form like it's the, like it's the 80s you have to they have to email you back what is it, like a fucking drug deal to order on their website their 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 repros you got to do an order form send it and submit it through the site and then they'll email you back make what make sure you're not a fucking narc which was they have to be because I'm surprised no one's coming it's literally an order form that you email to them that they have to send back it says it on this website. That, that's a reputable company right there. Do you know anyone who's purchased from them before and gone through that process? No. Mm -mm. Are they outcasts on, on, on the, the, what is it, the PC Engine FX forum? I know most people I know of varying, like, it, it's weird, like, uh, across the spectrum don't like them. So I don't know where their their fan base lies, but I'm sure we'll probably find out. Is PC Engine FX still around? Dot com? Yeah. I don't go there, though. Oh, the site can't be reached. Oh. That's definitely there. It's down right now. Uh-oh. Unless you put in the wrong address. PC Engine FX dot com, right? My buddy was just linking me to there, like, the other day. Okay, well, it's currently down. All right. Well, there you have it. Maybe there's a maybe there's a PC Engine war going on. Cyber war that we're not aware of. There's been a first strike. Is it coming up for you? I was Googling it just to make... Because I always put the address in I'm not, wrong. That's why I asked. I'm not saying I want you to order it. I'm really curious. I don't want to do it myself. So I want someone to put in the order form and see what the response is. I'm very curious to get one of these PC wars. Like, it's like you got to you gotta vouch for someone and go in a back alley and someone. I got to be strapped in order to get my, my fucking rip-off games done. Holy shit. Sorry. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that mega engine at some point. <laughs> we'll come back.